There's one other thing that is really um, not well documented in any of the Hurley literature. It is there, but you have to really search for it. And there's been a lot of uh, controversy over it, a lot of talk on the different forums over it. And um, many years ago, I um, talked to quite a few people in the industry at Hurley, at, Di at Dynajet, uh, and then looked through all the hidden stuff that Hurley mm -hmm. puts in footnotes in their race tuner yeah. manual and all that, and pretty much deciphered it and and did decipher it. So Harley calls this adaptive fuel value. It's known in the general EFI world, other motorcycles, cars, everything, as long-term fuel trim. Harley calls it adaptive fuel value. Why is this important? Because there, for every person that will tell you that a Harley ECM can learn, another person will tell you, no, the RT, ECM can't learn, it can't adapt. And the fact of the matter is the ECM can adapt up to 20% more fuel. So if your bike needs more than 20% more fuel, the ECM cannot adapt beyond 20%, but it can adapt up to 20% more fuel or 20% less fuel, which doesn't happen because they come so lean from the factory already. So, um, and that, uh, that ability to adapt, that adaptive fuel value, long-term fuel trim, is in every vehicle, and it's there because as engines wear, as the fuel system, fuel delivery system wears out, conditions change based on those nine different sensors that we just read out, and there has to be a change, and that's why a car, uh, say a Ford pickup truck, um, runs one way at 10,000 miles and then at 120,000 miles when obviously things are more worn and aren't working the same it still runs just as well because it adapts okay and it runs just as well at 10,000 foot elevation where the air is really thin as it does down at sea level or at 5,000 feet it runs just as well in warm weather cold weather because it's able to adapt so how why is this important well, because people want to add exhaust that sounds like a Harley, not, you know, this quiet EPA mandated exhaust. Then they want to know, you know, can the ECM adapt to that? So we, we, we already talked about how open loop and closed loop works. And w the way that the long term fuel trim or adaptive fuel values, what Harley calls it, works, it, w it reads information that occurs in closed loop, writes it into a table, and then applies that table to the open loop. And so, like a lot of people say, the XIEDs, VIEDs, only work in closed loop. No, they work in open loop too, because when the XID is constantly making the closed loop richer, it's writing that richness variable to the long-term fuel trim table, which then gets applied to the open loop and it makes the open loop richer also. Mm -hmm. So that's a little primer, just a primer on um, how the ECM works.